Our goal was to build a high-performance speech BCI that could rapidly restore intelligible communication to people who can no longer speak. We implanted four Utah rays into the left ventral precentral gyrus of a 45-year-old man living with ALS. We decoded his neural activity in real time into either text or audio. For brain-to-text decoding, we trained an RNN to decode neural activity into sequences of phoneme probabilities, which were then assembled into the most likely sequence of words being spoken by an n-gram language model, and then read aloud by an own voice text-to-speech tool. For brain-to-voice decoding, we trained a transformer model to predict low-dimensional speech features from neural activity in real time. We used a vocoder to turn these into a speech waveform, which was played back to the participant continuously. We did not have ground-truth speech, hence to train the decoder, we generated synthetic voice time-aligned with his neural data. This decoder is not dependent on vocabulary or language and generates sounds directly from neural activity. Here, the participant is reading on-screen prompts while the large vocabulary brain-to-text BCI uh, predicts what he is trying to say. It's really not too technical. Now, the participant is using the BCI to talk to his family. Hello, is this on? When constrained to a 50-word vocabulary, our brain detects BCI predicted nearly every word correctly on the first day of use. With a much larger vocabulary of 125,000 words, we were able to decode sentences with a word error rate of less than 10% and on just the second day of use. This decoding accuracy significantly outpaces recently demonstrated speech neuroprostheses, which required nearly two weeks worth of training data to achieve peak performance. Here, speech is synthesized continuously with real-time audio feedback as the participant attempts to speak. I wish to have a family. We were able to instantaneously reconstruct the participant's speech from his neural activity online with latency of just 10 milliseconds. In summary, we report a speech neuroprosthesis that works on the first days of use and more than doubles the online accuracy of previous large vocabulary speech BCIs. We also report the first use of real-time, nearly intelligible, continuous speech synthesis. These results demonstrate that intracortical speech BCIs have reached a level of performance suitable for rapidly and accurately restoring communication to people living with paralysis. <laughs> I have been waiting for this for a long time.